don't like it. I just close my eyes when that happens. But do you think that we should? Do you think we should turn away? Do you oh, think yeah. we should close yeah. our eyes? I think so. Really? I think so. Today is we're just showing people the pig industry in the UK as well. This is all UK footage. Do you know much about the pig industry? No. No? I don't need pig, so you I don't, don't take pigs? my dick, no. <laughs> oh, okay, do you, do you eat other animals? Oh yeah, I do. So these, these industries are, are similar, right? So we're talking about the exploitation and murder of animals, essentially. Where do you feel on animal abuse? What's your feelings? What's your, your position? Um, I think it is cruel to kill. Cool to kill animals? Yeah, I think so. When I eat it, I'm not very happy sometimes. Okay. I don't know why I'm not so bad when I'm having chicken. But if I'm having beef or anything, uh, not oh, okay. so. <laughs> oh, so you feel worse when you're eating cows than you do when you're eating chickens? Yeah. Why do you think that is? I, I don't know. I used to raise them back home in Fiji. Oh, then, okay. So maybe you've got more like yeah. a. Often you say to someone, like, would you eat a dog? And they'd say, no, because okay. I have a dog at home. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're more connected with cows and that's why you don't feel the guilt when you're eating yeah. chickens. Mm -hmm. But can I ask you, like, what's the moral difference? Well, a, not much difference at all, I don't think. What about you the moral difference? Is there any moral difference oh. between them? Should we consider one morally more than the other or no, should we consider really. them equally? No, just killing is bad. Killing is bad? Mm, I think. Yeah? Do you think killing is bad, especially when it's just for a sensory pleasure like taste? It is bad, yeah. It's bad in any sense. Bad in any sense, of course. And then when we can't justify, I mean, I could say I could justify killing somebody if they come to kill me and I defended myself. De defending is another it's thing. It's a different thing, right? But what we're talking about is we're talking about innocent sentient beings being forced into slaughterhouses for our... When you say push. that, yeah. No. What's your mate? Feel guilty? Feel emotional? Empathic, yeah. Empathetic? Mm. Yeah, very much so. What would stop you being vegan? Um, well, I do eat a lot of vegetables recently. So right. I, yeah, not so much meat, but like I said, stick to chicken. I don't know why. Do you think but, chickens feel pain in the slaughterhouse? But of course. But of course. Do you think we can justify it? In which sense? But, I mean, because you said, I'm against killing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't justify it. It just, I'm so used to seeing chicken back home even, you know, and we used to eat it a little bit then. But I eat more so now because, because of protein and stuff like that. Do you think you can get protein from plants? Oh, yeah, you can. Depends what you're eating, really. Of course. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so yeah. do you think that if we are against killing and if we think that animals suffer and feel pain, do you think that we should just choose to eat plants and leave the animals alone? Yeah, I think so. But you think not, so? I think so. But I don't know, it's not possible, is it? Why not? I don't eat any animals. I mean, you don't? Yeah, I know I know a lot of vegetarians. No, 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 vegan. Oh, vegan? Oh, yeah, completely. Yeah, because vegetarians still will eat eggs, honey and dairy. Honey is fine. No, honey is not. Honey is not exploitive. killing, is it? Yeah, honey is a really exploitive uh, industry. So they often cut the queen bee's wings off so she stays in the hive. The bees will then produce all of the honey, which is their food for the winter. Then the honey is taken from them and they're given like a sugary water substitute. So all that hard work for them that they've think made. It's like that. Yeah, it's I... not their food, is it? Yeah, that's what honey is. Honey is the bees make honey yeah. to then eat themselves throughout the winter months. So what happens is the beehive like farmers will take the honey and they'll give them like a sugary like water substitute to keep the bees alive and then the next year they do it again and again and again that and is then something new to me when the when the um, production slows down they just um gas them and kill all the bees and then start again they get new queen bees get the queen bee to stay in the hive and then the the system repeats really mm -hmm. they don't eat like plants and things like that when they fly well, the, the exploitation is when we take their food from them. So the, the queen bee is forced to stay in the hive. Mm -hmm. And once they've made all their honey, the farmer comes along and he takes their honey and then puts a substitute in. That is wrong. It's wrong, right? It is wrong. If somebody takes my food away, I'll be very upset, actually. Can you imagine? Yeah. What about eggs? Do you eat eggs? I, very rarely. What do you know about the egg industry? I'm not very happy with egg. And what do I think? I don't know whether they're being honest with the, uh, what you call it? The consumer? 
like the people buying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you think, right, if you don't know the industry fully, do you think that you should be paying into something you don't really understand? Not really, but what can you do? You have to eat something for your protein and stuff, but... Well, we said protein comes from plants, right? Yeah, it does, but it depends. You have to learn all that. Yeah, I know. I do eat a lot of plants. So uh, let, me, let me put it to you like this. Do you think maybe a week or two of you learning where new protein sources come from plants is easier for you than it is them animals in the slaughterhouse, them chickens having their heads cut off? Who do you think's got it worse? A bit of inconvenience? Cutting, yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of inconvenience for us. Mm -hmm. Your system may change, your shopping habits may change, and your um, like purchasing habits may change, but it's only momentarily. And then mm. when you've got the hang of the new products you That's buy, right. your new protein mm. sources, they're all plant-based, and then the animals are left alone. Do you think that that sounds like a more ethical solution? I think so, but there'll be so many animals they reckon is going to be. What's going to happen to them if you don't eat them? That's a good question. I can answer it for you. So we breed. Can you guess how many animals are bred, land animals, every year for people to put in slaughterhouses and kill? How many do you reckon are bred every year? Oh, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. 80 billion. Just land animals, right? So what's going to happen is we got this many vegans and we're breeding this many animals into existence. As people continue to realize the exploitation, murder and harm and violence they're paying for, they're going to stop. So the amount of vegans is going to increase. Now, because these industries only run off supply and demand, mm. what will happen is the demand for animal bodies and animal secretions will drop. So as the demand drops, they won't be breeding so many into existence and we'll have this transition period mm. where we'll have more vegans and less animals being bred into existence. So we won't be in a world where we're overrun by chickens. It will be a, a gradual fade out. And then you've got all these vegans in the world who are happy to take all these animals into sanctuary and let them live their lives, you know, as it should be intended. But wouldn't it be overcrowded with animals? No, because they're, they're, they're bred into existence for us to consume. So if we stop oh. the supply, uh, sorry, stop the demand, then the supply will drop because they won't need to breathe them into existence. But they'll be still giving birth. No, all the animals at the moment, so chickens, cows, pigs, sheep, they're all forcefully bred and they're forced, for, they're forced into existence. So for example, a dairy cow's raped. They put them in a rape rack. The farmer puts his hand all the way inside of her bum. He holds her cervix and he injects her a ball semen. She carries her baby for nine months. When the baby's born, what do you think they do to the baby? No, no. If it's a male, it doesn't produce milk, right? Oh, right. So he gets killed pretty quick. If she's a female, she'll go into an isolation hut for mm. eight to 12 weeks, solitary confinement, separated from her mum. The mums cry for weeks and weeks and weeks. They have maternal bonds, they're mammals. Is that true? Of course it's true. I wouldn't lie to you. I'll give you a resource to have a look at this no, order in a minute. No, that's fine. Because why would cows produce milk? Why do mammals produce milk? Mm, well, for their babies. For their babies. Mm. But what we do is we remove the baby and then we take the milk and we sell it and we profit. What do you reckon happens when the, the mum can't produce as much milk anymore? I don't know. They get killed? They kill her. And the average age of a slaughterhouse, uh, a, cow, a dairy cow in a slaughterhouse is four years old. Four to five. But do you take milk though? No, I don't drink milk. I don't. In your tea or anything? No, I have soy milk or oat milk. Oh, oh right, okay. So if you're vegan, basically I feel like you're vegan because I think that we agree on a lot of things. We oh, don't yeah, like animals I, I being do exploited. Agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all I do is I align my actions with them ethics. Mm. So I don't want animals harmed or exploited for my benefit. So I won't drink cow's milk. I won't eat honey, eggs. I won't eat the flesh of an animal. I won't go to a zoo. I won't go to uh, an aquarium. Why wouldn't, wouldn't you go to the zoo just to see them? That's a good, that's a really good question. The reason why I wouldn't go to a zoo is because them animals aren't there on their own free will. Because you do love them. I love obviously. animals. Yeah, my wife said a really good thing in a speech once. She said, when I was a baby, I used to go to the zoo because I loved animals. Mm. And now I'm an animal rights activist. I will avoid the zoo because I love animals. Animals and zoos, yeah, yeah. they're there as a commodity, they're there to make money. They're forced into these um, unnatural that, habitats. I don't like that, I agree there, yeah. actually. They're forced they should into these be running around habitats. somewhere. Yeah. Of course, we see lions pacing up and down, mm, we see mm, dancing mm, bears, mm. we see these animals going crazy because they're kept in these like small, confined, unnatural habitats. Yeah, so I won't support zoos, I won't support aquariums. Same as I wouldn't wear leather, I wouldn't wear wool because it's not my skin, no. it's not my fur. Mm. 
I, it's I don't for me. like leather myself. No, I don't. No. I wouldn't wear it. So when you're vegan, you just avoid these things because you don't want to pay into animals being exploited for your body. I would like, but you're looking well with it, though. But well, you know what? It's not as difficult as you think. No. Because yeah. all you do, right, is you look at it through their eyes, not through our eyes. See ya. You look at it through their eyes, not through our eyes. So when we look at these, I mean, look at these pigs here on this farm. These are the healthy pigs protecting the poor pig mm. because he's passed away. When I look through these eyes and I see the exploitation and I see the pain and the suffering, the next time I go to the supermarket, yeah. it's really easy for me to buy yeah, vegan no, food. I, I don't like it myself personally. You know, the next time I go and buy some deodorant, it's easy for me to find a vegan one because I don't want to pay for a product that's been tested on animals because animals are tied down, they have they stuff so all in their eyes. They're so much. I yeah. mean, you opened my eyes today. You're more than welcome. <laughs> You've been a pleasure to speak to. Yeah. But just remember, the whole time you're not vegan. I, I don't the think smallest I can amount... be vegan, but... I think you can be vegan. Yeah, Why can't you be vegan? I don't know. I don't know, health-wise. Health? Do I look unhealthy? I, yeah, you do. <laughs> you all look healthy too. <laughs> <laughs> they eat chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I don't eat chicken. No, I do. Yeah, but I look healthy, right? Oh, yeah. I don't eat chickens. <laughs> For over three and, a, three and a half years now. No meat, no dairy, no eggs. What made you start that, though? What made me was the dairy industry. So, actually, the guy who is releasing this documentary on Amazon Prime, Joey Carbstrong, he's an animal rights activist. I was watching one of his videos, oh. and I saw a mother dairy cow laid on her side, and I saw them cutting her throat. And when I realized that they were killing her I because like I paid for it. I don't like seeing that myself personally. I don't like it. I just close my eyes when that happens. But do you think that we should? Do you think we should turn away? Do you oh, think yeah. we should close yeah, our eyes? I think so. Really? I think so, very much. Do you not think that we should actually witness what we're paying for and understand mm. the plight of these animals? Mm. For us to turn away, it, we can just be like this and be ignorant to it. But actually, if we're contributing towards it, we should see exactly what we're voting to continue to happen. We shouldn't walk away. No, I know. If, I know. You, were, if you were in a room, agree, let's yeah. say you're in a house and you're in the front room. In the dining room, you see somebody and you hear somebody kicking a dog. What would you do? Would you go into that room and stop them? Yeah. Or would you stay in the room and just pretend it's not no, happening? No, You'd go in and stop them. them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is exactly... This is exactly what we're doing as vegans. Yeah. You're in the room. Yeah. And in the other room, you see cows and slaughterhouses, you see chickens and slaughterhouses, you see pigs in gas chambers. So you've now got the decision, do you go vegan and stop what's happening in the other room or do you shut the door and stay ignorant no, to it? No, can't do that. No, no, I agree. Can't ignore it. You can't. No. Well, it's so nice checking It's been lovely you. talking to you. Let me give you this card and it's got a really good documentary on here. So you can go um, to this documentary here on Amazon Prime, it's free to watch. And have you, have you got the internet at home? Yeah. Go to Challenge 22. Challenge 22. Challenge 22. It's a website called Challenge 22. And you get a free mentor. Any questions you've got, they'll help you be vegan and they'll guide you with any other questions you have after today. Okay. What was your name? My name's Steve. I'm Basant. B-A-S-A-N-T. V-A-S-A-N-T. B-A-S-A-N-T. Basant. Basant. That's a lovely Sharon. name. Thank you so much for a nice conversation today. Oh, no, thank you. Have a great day. Nice a little bit. Good. A little bit. <laughs> Good. Just remember them. Next time you're in the shop, I know. remember these. Oh, I do. I do, though. Good. I do. But so used to now having chicken at least. Me or too. Or egg or something. I but was 36 I before that, I went vegan. I'm very conscious of eating beef and all that because being Hindu as well. Of course. Not supposed right, to. Right, so then veganism, my... peace, love, compassion. Yeah. That's being a vegan. Hinduism, if you're eating chickens, yeah. that's violence. You're paying for I absolute did. violence. I... It goes against your inner core. I know. And it's violence to the most innocent animals, the most innocent beings. It is, beings. isn't it? Yeah. You're very true. I'm glad you're doing this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a lovely day. And you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Are we going down into the gas? We're going to get caught.